The sea is blue because the sky is too. There's life in the air. There's life in water. Both water and earth have borders. When water invades the earth, we say it's a catastrophe. But men from the earth invade water without asking permission. The sea is really the earth's inventor and protector. Everything began when the earth wasn't just made of land. In the beginning of the world, the earth was a single continent, which with time became known as Pangaea which means something like all land. If all the planets are round, then a drop of water is the oldest of all planets. Inside each drop of water, there's a whole world of living creatures that grow, seek each other out, find each other and transform themselves. came out of the sea. Their fins turned into paws and hands. Their gills became lungs. Life tried out many forms, but many species also disappeared. On many occasions, the water became ice, and man survived and began to play with the earth. We learned to breathe, and we came to believe that now we had air, we didn't need water to survive. Water became just another liquid, to drink, for watering the plants and for washing. The ground isn't just a place for us to walk over and build houses. And water isn't just what comes out of a spring. Man was a child of water, but he became its master. And when masters know that they're in charge, they always demand more and more. More houses, more cars, more roads, more energy, more rubbish. Caught up in the desire for more, water shrinks away. The air grows thick, the ice melts, the earth dries. We were the children of water, and now we're creating deserts. We're losing one world, but there are no spare worlds in exchange. Last drop of water goes down the hole. Darkness will swallow everything. It's the revenge of an earth that we haven't looked after. but there's still time. When we look in the water, what we really see is our own reflection. Water isn't just a landscape, nor is it a heavenly miracle. Water is our friend. 
Since the beginning, water has always been the same. It's us who've changed. Now we must learn from the water. In the future, water won't come from the tap or even from the rain. It'll come from a will to conserve it. <laughs>